Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraAutomation.com and welcome to an all new crash course on developing ASP.NET web UI and API application. And once again, this is a crash course which will help you to understand how we can build a three tier application using ASP.NET web UI and the web API and using the database as the backend to store all the data. So the prerequisite of developing this application is quite simple. All we need is we need to have a good knowledge on the concept of HTML and API and basics of SQL queries, Visual Studio usage like IDE and the .NET technologies, especially C Sharp, because the language that we are going to be using in this whole journey of this crash course is going to be in the C Sharp language. So you need to have a basic understanding of C Sharp. That is most important because we are not going to cover about the basics of C Sharp in this particular course. And the installation prerequisite is also quite simple. All you need to have is a Visual Studio 2019 or above. 2022 is preferred because that's the newest version of Visual Studio. So you can download the community edition for free. So go ahead and download that. I'm not gonna show you how to download and install those things. It's quite simple as well. And make sure you also have other IDEs like VS Code. If you are quite familiar with VS Code, I would probably prefer you to go with VS Code as well because first few lectures of this course are going to be developed using VS Code. So I'm going to have VS Code as well as a part of installation. And you can have any operating system like Windows, Mac or Linux operating system. Doesn't matter because we are going to be using .NET 5 and .NET 6 interchangeably in this whole course. So that's it. This is the whole prerequisite. So let's talk about the application development using the ASP.NET and we are going to be using the MVC pattern in this whole course. But before we start developing the web application or the web API in this particular whole course, let's see how the application is going to look like and what application are we really going to be developing. We are going to be developing a three tier application in this particular series where the application is going to look something like this. As you can see, this is my VS 2022 IDE. And it has got what is called as a product API. This is the one we just started in our last video. And this is the web API project. And also it has got what is called as a web application 5, which is nothing but the web application UI app, which has got the model views and controllers and stuff. And while I start this particular application, you will notice that I have chosen a multiple startup project. The reason being it is going to start an API project and at the same time it is going to start an UI project. So it's going to start two browser for us and they are running in different ports. And you will notice that this particular project, the 46576 port number, is actually starting up a Swagger, which is nothing but the, the product API over here. And then there is going to be a web UI coming up. And this particular web U application is actually going to be using the APIs from here. And you will see that once I click this product, it is going to show me all the product details like keyboard, mouse, monitors, and cabinet. And you can actually do a lot of things, pretty much like creating a new product. And you can also edit the product. And you can also see the details of the product, delete the product, and everything. So everything is actually happening using the APIs available on the product over here. So while you notice that this particular application actually shows me there are like five or four products coming up and all these products can be available or listed from this particular API as well. So if I try doing an execute over here, you will see that it is going to show me the four products. So these four products are actually coming up from this particular API that you are seeing here. So that's why this particular application, the UI application is basically consuming the API from our Swagger UI as you can see over here. And we'll be not using the URL exactly to actually access it, uh, like directly calling an API, something like that. We'll be using the client code generation using in swag and stuff, which we'll be talking about in this particular series, but don't worry about it yet. But yeah, this is how the application is going to look like. This is a very, very super simple application that we'll be developing, but it covers a lot of concept that is required for developing this particular application. Well, we now know the application, like how this application is going to look like and what application we are going to be developing. Let's jump into developing the actual application itself. So what is this MVC pattern and how this MVC pattern is going to impact our development? Well, 
The MVC pattern is quite simple. So if you just search for MVC ASP .NET, something like that, you will see that there are many tutorials available for that particular stuff. Uh, let's say just MVC and hit enter. Uh, you can see that the .NET.Microsoft.com page comes up, the ASP.NET MVC, and this is what it is, this MVC is all about. If you already know about MVC pattern, you could probably skip this video and jump to the next video where I'm gonna start the development part. But if you are not familiar with the MVC, then this video is something that you need to look for because this is what we'll be developing this whole course. So MVC is a design pattern used to decouple user interfaces, which is nothing but the view of MVC. So this is the view. And then there is going to be a data model. So that is what is the M. Uh, and then you need to have what is called as an application logic, which is going to be the controller or the C. So that's why it's called as MVC, which is nothing but the model view controller. And the model is going to be your data and view is going to be the UI part. And C is going to be the controller, which is the logic part, like business logic. And this is how we'll be developing the whole application using the MVC pattern. And in ASP.NET, it's very, very simple. All you need to do is just start building up. Uh, and the data model, we can use any database like SQL Server or SQLite. And the ORM or the object relation data model, we can use something like Entity Framework, quite famous in ASP.NET world. So we'll be using the Entity Framework in this course. And then finally, the controllers part is going to be the one which is going to be accessing the data from the model. And that's something it's going to pretty much look like an API, as you can see over here. Uh, and all this uh, controller access is going to be done using what is called as a routing. And we'll be using a different pattern because we'll be developing an ASP.NET web API. And that's where we are going to be uh, accessing the data from. That's where our controller is going to be do all those logics for us. So that's it. And then the view part is going to be the one which is going to be the one you will actually see as a UI part which will be talking in the next section of this course. But at the moment, we'll be developing a web API as the start. So this is the MVC pattern of the application and very, very quite simple. So we are going to be starting to develop an ASP.NET MVC based application. And we'll start with the web API as the first one. So if you have not heard about the ASP.NET web API, just search for this ASP.NET uh, web API, something like this, and you will end up I'll probably say that. So this is the ASP.NET web API, where you can see that it tells you that it is a REST API with the .NET and C Sharp, and it has these structures, like you can add authorization and authentication more easily. And then there is a routings, and there is gonna be an HTTPS by default, uh, and start building the web API, and there are some details as well. So this is quite interesting. You can just go ahead and watch uh, some details and get some detail from here, but I'm not really gonna go and show you some of the documentation which is already available. Rather, we are gonna start developing the application itself. All right, so the first thing is I'm gonna open my Windows terminal, which I'm gonna do from here, this one. And I'm going to be going to my .NET course, and I'm going to create a new directory, ASP.NET, or maybe. And within that EA app, I'm going to be creating the product API. So I'm gonna say product API. And within this product API, I'm gonna create a first .NET project. So the thing that you can do to create a .NET Web API project is you need to type this .NET new Web API. And if you wanted to see like what are the different templates being supported, so you can just see the help, something like this, and you will see that there are gonna be a lot of details coming up. And you can choose the L to show the list of options. So it's I think it's hyphen L. And you can see that these are the project types which are currently being supported by the .NET. Uh, and the one that we are going to be creating is going to be the web API project. So I'm going to say .NET new web API. And I'm going to give a name for this particular project. I'm going to probably call this as the product API, which remembers me that I actually don't need to create this particular product API folder because that's something going to be automatically created for me by the project. 
So let's see. Okay, I don't have the particular directory. Now I can just do the dotnet new of web API and then I can give a name as the product API and I'm gonna give another important parameter which is gonna tell me that I'm gonna use the dotnet 5 version at the moment and I will switch to dotnet 6 eventually but as of now I'm gonna be using the dotnet 5 so we can use a flag called as hyphen f which is going to be for the framework and then you can just type net 5.0 something like that so you can actually learn this like how it is done as well so you just put an h for help and you can see that is hyphen hyphen f for the dotnet 5.0 so this is the one that you need to be giving for the target framework so i'm just going to say hyphen f of the dotnet 5.0 that's going to create a project for me which is done and now I can just do an ls, um, just let's say clear. You can see that I have the product API. And now I can go to the product API. And if I do an ls, you can see that I have my project created with all the basic controllers and the model, which is nothing but the weather forecast model. And then there is going to be some programs and startup files, which is cool. And now I can start developing my project, which I'm going to be doing starting our next video.